Hello again, YouTube. This is Eddie Bonds 13 coming back at you with another fast knife review. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it fast. I uh, seem to take uh, time um, with these. Um, although, uh, as I said in every other video, um, I'm not the uh, the best video taker yet. Uh, my lighting is horrible. I'm actually using natural light coming through a window in a bedroom right now, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, um, hopefully you can see the beautiful colors of this knife and uh, what all this knife has to offer. Um, what we have here is the Kaiser, and uh, Kaiser has made this knife in collaboration with Ray Laconico, and it is called the Intrepid. Um, this has to be one of my new favorite knives right now, um, being that I'm not the biggest collector yet, um, as I've said before in other videos. Um, um, you know, this was only about 220 and being that I shop a lot through Knife Center, I actually had a $50 coupon off on this knife, so I actually scored this knife at a really, really great price. Um, this knife is absolutely gorgeous. Um, everything about this knife, the lines, the beauty. Um, I got to tell you that uh, this is based off of uh, Ray Laconico's awesome skinny bear flipper. Uh, but again, you're paying top dollar for that. Um, let me show you this knife here, though. Look at that blade. Um, I believe they're calling this a drop point blade. Um, uh, but to me, it's more of a uh, harpoon. And you can see that huge harpoon there. Forgive me again for my lighting. But look at that harpoon on there. I mean, this blade is phenomenal. Look at the blade thickness. Right there you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but it does say Ray Laconico. Let me see if I can zoom in without messing up everything here. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Um, this is absolutely horrible. There we go, Ray Laconico. Bam, got her zoomed in. So there you go. You can see right there that it is a Ray Laconico knife. And uh, this knife is... Uh, is a, a beautiful beautiful acquisition um and beautiful knife done by kaiser um kaiser is a new company to me particularly i've never actually owned one of their knives um i can tell you that uh my first impressions of this knife are is that it's it's a top quality um being that it's from china i don't care there's a lot of these other makers out here that gripe about oh it's from china or a lot of other knife collectors it's from china oh no 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 who gives a shit if it's from china i am getting a little upset with that um i really don't care what who makes or what makes a knife i'm also i'm really starting to dig the uh grismo knives uh john grismo i believe is his name you know he makes all his knives off a machine and for all you people out there that want to doubt this this guy who's making knives off a machine you guys are nuts let's see you try to program a machine to make a knife i don't care how many man hours a real knife maker puts into hand doing a knife you cannot sit down and program a knife to be done in a machine not one of you i guarantee it so uh just a little shout out there to john grismo knives man and uh his knives are absolutely phenomenal phenomenal and I, I will go on about that daily and anybody who wants to argue about that go ahead and put some comments on the bottom maybe we can have a little tip for tat back and forth with each other um, anyway back to this knife at hand um, this knife is a phenomenal flipper you can see it opens with authority um, lockup is absolutely phenomenal on this knife um, I wish I could get zoomed in on here with this lighting and I just can't the camera is just horrible but um, I can assure you that the lockup is phenomenal on this knife and uh, um, everything else is phenomenal on this knife as well. Um, let's see what else we got here. You have the blue accents here um, and it's really out of focus now, isn't it? Let's see here what we can do. Sorry, forgive me you guys. I am a makeshift studio here. There we go. So as you can see, it's got the blue accents, the blue pivot, and it is a custom pivot. Very beautiful. Uh, blue, uh, 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 blue anodized titanium um, hardware here as well, as long as well as the almost grayish blue um, backspacer here, as well as the pocket clip is a titanium anodized blue, but it's almost a gray blue. I can tell you that the hardware itself on the pivot and the uh, backspacer screws here are a lot more of a uh, royal blue. Um, you're getting more of a gray color blue here. It's probably hard to pick up in this camera with this lighting. I apologize, but I assure you the blue is phenomenal. And the uh, the uh, the way that they complement each other is just great here because you have this nice textured, and I don't want to say textured, it's smooth, but it's rounded off titanium um, handles here. And um, 
you know, you're dealing with, uh, you know, 6AL4V titanium here. Everything is top-notch quality on this knife. Um, Kaiser, there's the symbol right there. Um, they do use S35 VN steel here. Um, I can tell you that the thickness is uh, 0 0.0157, which is about 4 millimeters in this knife. Um, the weight is 5.7 ounces. And the fit and finish of this knife is phenomenal, you guys. I'm telling you, I use the word phenomenal a lot because I love this knife. I wore an extra large hand glove, and look at that, the way that fits on my hand. They're still extra. I love that. Um, the way this knife closes, it just closes on itself. I mean, this knife is absolutely gorgeous. Um, um, there's not really much more you could ask for. Um, in a, you know, 220, 210, 190, 180, 170, so 160, 170 bucks is what I paid. Sorry for bumping the camera. 170 bucks about is what I paid for this knife. And this is one of far better than any knife I've paid over 200 for ever. And I got it for 170. This knife is phenomenal. Um, it does have the lock bar insert in here, um, it, which is hard to see in this camera, but you do see the screws for there. It is adjustable and, re and uh, replaceable, um, which is very nice. Um, it's also got the over travel stop in there, so you cannot over travel this knife. Um, and I just love it. I mean, everything is just is, is gorgeous. Um, I can tell you that the, uh, like I said before, the blade material is CPM S35 VN stainless steel. It has a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. Um, the overall length is 8.25 inches. Now that's from open to close. Um, so you're looking at uh, 8.25 inches at that point right there. Um, the close length. 4.625 inches so you're looking at a little over four and a half inches on that closed length um the cutting edge is 3.625 which is i'm going to say it's a little over three and a half inches you're looking at from here to here a little over three and a half inches um you know kaiser uses high grade materials um high quality workmanship i'll tell you that right now they use high speed cnc milling machines to, to accomplish what they do here um, and a wire EDM cutting tool, which is just phenomenal. Um, again, I, I am so hyped up over this knife, you guys. Like, I, I can't even begin to tell you how I feel about this knife um, enough. It is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't even want to carry it, but I will because I know I have used it. Look, it shows nowhere. I wish you could get a good shot of how beautiful this stone washing is on this. And I wish, I hope this shows up in the camera when I download this onto YouTube. But... The stone wash is beautiful. Look at the grinds on there. Look at this big swedge across the top. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. This knife is phenomenal. So I really, really highly, highly recommend that uh, that you use this knife, that you guys get out there and use this knife. Um, what else can I say about this knife? Um, it does run on a bearing pivot system um, that's going to allow for a smooth blade opening, um, as with all Kaiser knives. Um, this is actually the first Kaiser knife I've got to play with, but I'll, I'll tell you what, um, this is not going to be my last. I have my eyes set on a few other ones, um, and I will be getting those soon. Um, I guarantee it. Uh, money does permit me from purchasing um, um, knives the way I'd like to, but uh, look at, let's see if the sun can get that. Look at the beauty. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that blade. I mean, I am in love with that. There's the Kaiser symbol, if you guys can see that. It does say S35 VN steel down there. Um, it says right here, Intrepid, if you can read that, um, which is the name of this knife. Um, oh, did I go over the weight for this knife? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Let's go over it again. 5.7 ounces is what you're looking at on this knife. And uh, uh, this knife, I mean, it's just a joy to handle. Um, it's it's every bit as good as a mid-tech. I can tell you that right now. I have handled a few mid techs, although I don't own any. Um, I do own a uh, Browse Blade prototype. It's actually pawn right now. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I will be getting that back. Trust me. That was just, uh, you know, and they really, you know, what's sad is they only gave me 150 on a pawn for a Browse Blade prototype, but I needed the money so bad for a bill. Um, but um, it's a pawn shop that I go to quite regularly. I'm known there. Um, I do have my own business, Denver City Survival. So um, they know me that I do sell products and uh, I am good for my money. So I will be back to get that knife. Trust me. Sorry, Jason Browse, if you're watching this. Um, but I did pawn your knife. Sorry, buddy. Um, but again, he's another great knife maker. You know, I can't wait to pick up more of his stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so this knife, man. 
uh, wonderful. Uh, you know, I give it a five uh, out of one to five. I give it a five stars all day long. Um, there's nothing on this knife I would change. Um, the flipper tab is absolutely phenomenal. It's just big enough. You can push button it um, or you can light switch it. However you want to do that. This knife flies right open. Um, and I got to tell you, I mean, it, it, there's just nothing else I can really say except for get out and buy one of these because uh, look at that pocket clip. Um, it does ride um, pretty deep in the pocket, which is nice. I like deep carry. Um, not for the fact that it's being concealed and all that kind of crap because everybody knows you're carrying a knife when they see a pocket clip sticking out. So, you know, it doesn't matter about concealment, but it matters about riding low in the pocket, low enough to actually protect the knife from falling out. Have you seen them knives where they stick out like this much? Aren't you worried that the damn thing's going to fall out? I know I am. So I really like a deep carry pocket clip. Um, this knife is deep enough. Um and uh let's see what else i can go on about this knife about i could ramble all day about this knife um you know uh the craftsmanship is there kaiser is got to be one of my favorite most favorite companies right now um along with riot i'm yet to own a riot knife um riot if you're listening and you'd like to send me one just to play with that'd be awesome um <laughs> i doubt that'll happen but um i really want a riot knife so bad like i don't think you understand like um I'm willing to um, rent my children. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, Riot, th don't believe that. I'm not going to rent my children for your one of your knives. But I uh, would love one of your knives bad, and I will be getting one. One of the Leyang Ma um, knives um, would be great. Um, I really wanted the Horizon C um, carbon fiber with the blue accents. Obviously, you can, as you know, uh, blue is my favorite color. Um, and... Uh, and I just love it on a knife, but this knife right here, um, back to this knife, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I really wish I could have showed you the lockup, and maybe it is going to come through. I don't know, but you can see that it's just perfect. Um, oh, let's look at blade centering while we're here. Look at that blade centering. I mean, you can't ask for better. I mean, that's almost custom-like. Look at the centering all the way up the blade. It's just absolutely perfect. Um, oh, you know what? There is one gripe I have to say is I am going to be going out to buy me some Loctite today. The reason being is the more you flip this knife open and closed, um, it takes quite a while. I want to tell you at least 25 to 30 flips, but I find myself do having to tighten this pivot a little bit. And I don't know if that's a design flaw or what that is. Um, maybe you're not supposed to flip your knife that, not, that much, but as you all know, um, being knife collectors, um, we love to flip our knives and... I sit in bed and do it. I sit on the couch and do it when I'm watching TV. I sit at the dinner table and do it. I'm constantly flipping a knife. So, um, you know, let's do a little size comparison. Um, what I have right here is the uh, ZT0562. You can see the size comparison. Um, you're looking at uh, pretty much the same size knife. Um, the 0562 comes with a nice uh, three and a half inch blade. So you might be getting a little more blade with this. Let's put things... Let's put these things close like this. And yeah, as you can see, let me move these over into the camera a little bit better. As you can see, I believe the uh, the Intrepid has just a little more cutting surface, which is fine. I love that. Um, you know, I used to carry small knives, actually. Uh, anything over three and a quarter inch blade was just too, was too big for me. But, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two, 265 pounds. I need a big hefty knife. Um, this one is a lot heavier, I'm gonna tell you, the 0562. Um, I have done a video on this one already. Um, this one also, I believe, has a lanyard hole, except for, I don't see the purpose in ruining this knife with a lanyard. This one I did put a lanyard on, you can tell. I like these little short fob style ones. But um, yeah, that's a good size comparison right there. Um, I really think that that's, uh, kind of shows you the size of this knife um, up to the Zero Tolerance 562, so get that out of here. Um, but yeah, folks, I really, really urge you to get out, try this knife, give it a shot. Um, I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And, you know, I've never had to deal with Kaiser's customer service yet. I may contact them and ask them about this little pivot problem about it loosening up, or I may just throw some Loctite in. We'll see what happens. But, uh, again, YouTube, I urge you guys to get out. Uh, please like my videos. Um, I have plenty more to come. Um, again, I am doing these videos for novice and beginner knife, um, enthusiasts, um, as I do not have a collection quite like Jim Skelton and Mindless Mark and uh, Terra Fanatic and uh, Epic Snuggle Bunny and all them guys. But um, I want to do these knife videos for people that can't afford expensive knives yet. Maybe they'll like some of this stuff. So come see me. Uh, Eddie Bones, 13, out.